What's going on guys, Unknown Player here and today we're we'll going over the second reveal stream for the Age of Triumph event. Of course Bungie held another live stream on their Twitch channel going through some of the details of what's happening in the event that goes live on the 28th. So as usual I've gone through the stream and picked up the most important details that I'll summarise in this video. So one cool thing that you can expect in this event is that there'll definitely be a few of those random little fixes and additions and generally those quality of life changes that are normally snuck into these updates. So for example, one of those things is that the Twilight Garrison exotic for the Titan, the chess piece of course, that is now finally going to take shaders, which has me so excited. And again, they didn't mention it, they just kind of like snuck it in there. Obviously they had three Titans standing there, so they kind of deliberately were pointing to it. But it's one of those things that Bungie are going to include, but obviously I'm going to talk about. So expect a few other things that are similar to this. And for me, this just has me so excited, because depending on how you play, the Twilight Garrison is probably the best exotic for the Titan in terms of Crucible in the entire game. It's just literally so good night and day. But it's always been so, so, so ugly. Like the big blue crest, looks like a life jacket. I've always thought it was really ugly. So now you can have shaders on it. And basically tweaks like that are something to expect in this update. Now, one other change is they've actually brought back the Nightfall Streak buff meaning blue flames are back so something that was gone and a lot of us definitely miss you can now finally get the blue flames back in your head once you complete a nightfall and of course the xp bonus is going to give you so blue flames are back i'll talk more about that later in the video with the nightfalls but yeah lots of cool small things to look forward to in the update so the first thing to do in the event is actually to pick up a quest from the speaker they said there's going to be about 12 steps in this quest going through patrols story missions strikes pvp stuff like that and this is where you begin the actual main quest for the age of triumph I'm probably expecting some other secret quests as well. If you remember the Halloween event, they have the Super Black Shader and the Celery, which we still don't know what it does. Maybe it does something in Age of Triumph, who knows? But there's also the Lysander's Christ Sparrow, so expect some other secret things, just like the Dawning and the Halloween event, possibly in this one too. So getting into some of the gear and rewards, they went over to Eververse, which has definitely been overhauled. They kind of wiped it clean to only sell these new treasure packages, which are now called the Treasures of the Ages. And there are also these packages here selling collections of the old Eververse items that were previously sold. Nothing new in these, but definitely some old items in case you're missing them. The new stuff is on the right, however. We can see a new Triumph gear set for the Titan. Of course, the one for the Warlock and Hunter as well. They teased it, didn't actually inspect it, but definitely a very cool gold looking armor set. Now, there's also new ornaments for exotic weapons, which is really cool. Now, these weapons are the following. The Vex Mythoclast, obviously, we know about that, and the Necrochasm. There's also Touch of Malice, Dragon's Breath, Cerus Regime, as I pointed out in a previous video, No Land Beyond, and Lord of Wolves. So all of those weapons are getting exotic ornaments. So let me know in the comment section which of those guns are you most excited for. Again, we can't see the ornaments. You probably will on the next stream. But a lot of those guns are probably going to look very, very awesome with new ornaments applied. And of course, there are also some new shaders and ships there on the bottom too. So moving on to the Silver Dusk Kiosk, there's some new things in there as well. There's Chroma Gear for the faction sets. Also consumables, emotes, shaders, masks and stuff like that can be directly bought for Silver Dusk. In case you're missing one or two things, you now get them specifically now. I guess it's kind of cool, but also slightly disappointing because most of the stuff was very limited edition and very hard to get. It took a lot of grinding to get back in the day during the event, so now you can just buy them straight up. I guess if you want that, you can now buy them with Silver Dust. And the final thing in the tower is that Shax has some slight changes to his weekly bounties and also an engram which you can buy with Silver Dust for Crucible gear. Now there's also some gameplay of the new Daybreak Strike, which I'll get into in a minute. But the first thing they mentioned is the main thing of the stream, and that is the actual weekly rituals, and essentially the new activities in this Age of Triumph event. So of course one of the four raids, which are all being brought up to current light level, will be featured each week and they have the challenge modes. The Crota raid, you can see the Death Singer and Crota, those are the two challenges. And the Crota raid is actually going to be the first weekly raid when this event goes live, so that's what to expect. Also, Challenge of the Elders is what that prison node was, so basically the same activity, but now at max light. So also, Nightfall Strikes have a new Daybreak modifier, so essentially our supers, grenades, melee are all much faster, basically the same as Mayhem and Crucible. Enemies aren't made more powerful, they're the same, but we have more supers, and you can see some gameplay of it right now in action. The downside is it will only be the Nightfall modifier once per month, so every four weeks. But they did say that from July this year, for six weeks straight, they're going to be doing the modified non-stop, which is definitely very strange and interesting. Maybe there'll be something else tying into that. But essentially, Daybreak is a modifier that boosts your supers, the same as Mayhem. Also, Blue Flames are now back for the Nightfalls, as I've seen. You can see the Blue Flaming Heads right now in the tower. The Weekly Heroic Strike is the same, but now drops the Treasures of the Ages packages. Now, there's also a Heroic Story Mission playlist. They basically cycle through each week. So there's a Mars and Venus one, as you can see right here. And they're going to go through all the story missions that take place on Mars and Venus. And it'll give you 20 marks for each mission up to five times. So 100 marks total each week and also a treasure of the ages. 
But there's also finally the weekly crucible, which will also drop a treasure of ages, which is nice. So definitely an improvement over the one per week. And it'll mean getting a lot more silver dust and those items inside. Now, look at the gameplay of the new Daybreak Strikes with the boosted supers. Essentially, it's the same as Mayhem in Crucible. If you use a proper loadout to generate supers and orbs fast, especially with like Bad Juju, it's going to be really, really quick. And not only supers I'm excited for, but also the melee and nades. I'm really looking forward to the Nothing Manacles and Scatter Grenades combo. That's going to be basically catapult, so it's going to be really, really fun. I think the Void Walk is going to benefit the most out of this new modifier. So that is everything you need to know about the latest reveal stream. So now I want to tell you guys about something else really special. And this is actually my official band group that I've started. So as you can see, this is basically my own page to hang out and play Destiny with you guys. Some people have already managed to find and join the page before I even announced it. So shout out to these early people. But make sure you head on over to the top of the link in the description and join at this page. So essentially, sometimes I'll be playing Crucible and I'll grab like five other people from this page to play as a party or maybe strikes or nightfalls. And of course, the raids coming as well. So if you do want the chance to hang out and play some Destiny with me, then this, of course, is the place I'll be grabbing people from. And they're also providing me with lots of stuff to give away to you guys. So gift cards and in-game silver, game codes, stuff like that. So even more reason to keep your eyes peeled right here on this band page. And of course, it's also a pretty nice and simple social media to use. It's not as crazy and wild as all the other ones. So you can see I've pinned this post right here at the top with the basics of what the page is going for. So it can be an LFG for all of you guys to find other raid teams or trials groups or help each other out. You can also post and discuss any Destiny news or things you want to show me. Like this post, you can hear is a bunch of cool concept art for Destiny and some of the unused ones, which is awesome. Any nice weapon rolls and stuff like that, which is always nice to see. You can talk generally about gaming and other things you're excited for like Destiny 2. And of course, you can also post any cool videos you might have made, like montages or edits if you've made some cool artwork or a drawing this is definitely the perfect place obviously there are the important rules to never spam or be offensive or repetitively self-promote yourself once every now and again it's totally fine but as long as it's not the only thing you're using the page to do but yeah like i said i'll be regularly stopping by here to chat with you guys and reply to your posts and pick people up to play some destiny and of course with all the raids coming up with the age of triumph event it's definitely the perfect place to find other people use it like an lfg and go ahead and post here if you want to find other people to play with and it should be a super chill place to hang out to be honest so top of link in the description come over and join the page it's super easy i look forward to hanging out with all you guys there so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video as always a like rating would be much appreciated and i'll see you guys in the next one